Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Nintendo Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive edition on the Nintendo Switch. I'm using a Switch OLED, not that it really matters. And uh, I was really curious how this game would hold up on the Nintendo platform. It is already really cool to finally get like the Grand Theft Auto games on Nintendo consoles, especially like some of the best ones ever made, like like uh, my uh, Vice City and, and, and San Andreas. But in this video, I'm starting with Grand Theft Auto 3. The game is 2.8 GB if you buy it digitally. Uh, you can buy the set, I think it's like uh, 20 euros each, or you can buy the set, the Trilogy um, Remastered Definitive Edition for like 50 euros. I think I, I paid like 29 for the complete set for all three. So I think it's a pretty fair price and it's really fun to have these games on the go. So yeah, let's go start it up. You guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. You're really helping out this channel. You can also hit the bell icon. I upload almost on a weekly basis, new games, old games, updates on games, even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, Rockstar Games. One of my favorite publishers. They're always nice to you. They're dead. some of the most amazing people in the world. When this game, these definitive editions first came out, there was a lot of stuff to do about them because they were not optimized correctly at all. Especially not on the new gen consoles like Xbox Series S, X and PlayStation 5. It was a uh, dumpster fire. They fixed it afterwards really nicely, but oh my goodness, it, it, it was bad. So yeah, I was a little bit... Uh, <clears throat> Curious how it would run on the Nintendo Switch system, but I must say it's it's fine. You know, it's a Nintendo Switch. It's a Gen 8 console. So, and also with the lowest specs of them all. It's also a handheld console that you can use for playing on a big screen TV. So the resolution in docked mode is uh, around 648p, uh, so 650p. Um, that means it's really low in resolution. I'm playing this on a 1440p screen. I'm also using a 4K screen, so <laughs> you can definitely tell that it can look a little bit washed out. Also, it has a capped frame rate at 30 FPS. So don't expect, um, yeah, incredible things going on with this game. Go pick up this thing. I put the radio off and that's because YouTube really doesn't like you to be using uh, music. So there's Misty. And um, by the way, in dock in, in handheld mode, the game actually runs at only 480p. And you will definitely get some drops in the frame rate department. Also, the draw distance is very low. The, the, the density of cars driving around is uh, very low. But to be honest, I'm 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 not gonna complain about it it's a nintendo switch you guys this console is out for like seven years it when it first came out it already wasn't that powerful to begin with and it actually holds up pretty well with these games i'm actually enjoying it and i think that's the best way to play games and enjoy them if they work they work and I'm actually enjoying this a lot. You know, how cool is it to play GTA d d downstairs on the couch uh, when watching some TV or in bed doing nothing? I, I just love it. 
Joey's Art of Painting. You know, this was actually the first, not the first GTA I ever played. I, I actually started, I'm that old. I actually started with GTA 1 on the PlayStation 1, or I think I had it on PC back then. And um, yeah, I was really looking forward uh, to uh, to the to the next iteration of this game series. To, so yeah, to get like GTA 3 and the first time I played it, and I didn't even knew that this game would be like a third person 3D version of the 2D uh, GTA game. So I was completely flabbergasted back then when you could walk around this complete town and do all these things. It was amazing to say the least. I didn't know what happened. So that's a little bit, little bit, an insane amount of frame drops there. I can only see that right away. But it's so fun. It's such a fun game. It has some really cool, funny cars. You know, GTA 3 is not even the best of the of the. The PlayStation 2 era of um, the GTA games. I will skip this. I think I know what to do. Ammunition. Let's get some. I know, I know, I know. first head to ammunition hey, get the freaky deaky do out of the way here we go oh go around yeah I know I know I know Here's my first gun. Nice big Hummer. I think I still know where there's like a really cool car. Let's go check out if I can find it. I know there's like a car dealer or something that has like a really awesome car. And it's somewhere in this area, I think. Isn't it here? back there it was like a really cool car you could drive around in uh, i think here it is yeah, yeah 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 there it is there it is Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This car is so fast. Whee! This is one of the best cars you can get in this area of the game. In this part of the game. Let's see. Darn it. Oh, 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 pancakes. Let's see if we can get that car.
Mission passed. Yeah! Got him. That's how you do it. <laughs> this is so much fun. Let's head back to the safe area. I'm gonna save this car too. Here we go. But yeah, you guys, this is GTA 3 on the Nintendo Switch. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. But don't expect something graphically impressive of this game on your Nintendo Switch. I really want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys soon in another one.